Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Thursday, June 15th, 2017. Today's a little bit of a different show because I do not have a script and we're only going to talk about one subject, Take-Two Interactive. If you haven't heard the news today, Take-Two has issued a cease and desist letter against the creators of a mod called Open4. Turns out it doesn't stop there though, they also issued a cease and desist against the Liberty City Total Conversion mod. Now the Total Conversion mod is a little bit easier to explain, it's putting GTA 4 into the GTA 5 engine. Open4, from what I understand, because I do not use the mod, myself allowed you to do things like combine different mo models you would be able to add models into the game change textures do whatever you want pretty much now it's my understanding that in order to access the liberty city total conversion mod you needed to buy a copy of gta 4 to play that you didn't just have gta 5 and then all of a sudden get gta 4 for free that's not how that worked also at the open 4 mod uh, my understanding is everything was reverse engineered to make it completely legit in how it operated. So to my knowledge, everything would qualify as fair use. However, those mod creators don't have the capital to fight Take-Two in court, and it could take months to do this. It could take months to fight this, as we know with both the H3H3 H3, uh, lawsuit that went on, or that's going on currently, as well as Jim Sterling's lawsuit. That went on for what, six to eight months? Now, one of the weird things is this Open 4 mod had been operating for quite some time, even before the existence of GTA 5, because it was used for GTA 4. So why the hell, all of a sudden, do they give a fuck? And after doing some research, watching some videos, and taking in other people's opinion, I have come to the conclusion myself that they're doing this for a financial reason of sorts. And my best guess is to get people to buy more shark cards for GTA 5. Shark cards only apply to the online mode, though. You can pretty much make as much money in the single player as you want, and it doesn't affect anything. So I think this is an attempt at Take 2 to try to get people to move away from GTA 5 single player into the online mode where they're tempted to buy shark cards. Isn't that just the shittiest thing you have ever heard, though? If you've watched my show for any amount of time, you know that I do not particularly like to mod my games, but I understand the impact that they have on my gaming hobby, especially for PC gamers. I think it's wonderful that console players are finally getting to mod too. It extends the life of games, it makes games more interesting and fun, it makes, the sa it makes two people play the same game and have completely different experiences, completely different kinds of fun, yet they still enjoy it and they can still relate to each other. I've seen a ton of videos of crazy things that people have done in GTA 5, and they were only possible because of mods. Remember, this is a game that is almost four years old and is frequently in the top 15 sellers on Steam. Take a wild guess why that is. So if you also watch my show, then you may know the reason why I am so upset about this, and that is because of the recent acquisition of Kerbal Space Program by Take-Two Interactive. I've said this time and time again, Kerbal Space Program is my favorite game, and it still remains that today. Mods are what made Kerbal Space Program the game that it is. There are still a ton of features that you can add to Kerbal if you want to that don't exist in the core game. An expansion to Kerbal Space Program is on the horizon, no pun intended. Okay, maybe a little intended. But I know whatever is in that expansion could easily be done with a bunch of mods. All you have to do is download all the mods you want, make sure that it's running, and then have it run that way until the next update, rinse and repeat. It's really not that hard. I have a problem with it myself but a lot of other people don't so if you don't go for it i encourage modding i like i said i know how important it is to my hobby and my platform so my fear is once that expansion hits they're going to do the same thing for all modders of ksp and then once they do that now we are open to dlc packs of do you want a booster pack do you want a fuel tank pack here's a new R rcs pack do you want an apoapsis greater than fifty thousand meters well you better pony up all right that one may be a little excessive but this isn't good for our hobby this isn't good for the industry this isn't good for anybody except take two of course because the ball's in their court in the end I don't know what we can do about this. They're just going to continue to legally bully these people. And trust me, I don't want to be working today. That's the last thing that I wanted to do. I actually just got back from Seattle. We went with the trip with the family and had to try to have some fun and stuff. You know, that was great. I come back home and find all this crap. And great, I got to make a, I got to make a video now. I did not want to work. I, I, I'm really not supposed to be here. I know Jim Sterling did this same bit. Yeah, I know. Blah blah blah. He also he stole it from Clerks. Trust me, I know. But still, I, 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 I he doesn't take breaks. I take vacations. You, I. 
take weeks off, and I have told everybody I was taking a week off after E3 was done. I got my E3 work done early, which means that I had a couple extra days, but no! I'm back here sitting in front of a fucking camera. I love my job! But I would encourage everyone to go over to the GTA 5 review page on Steam and give it a negative review, citing the Open Forum mod as your reasoning why. If you feel as though going to the Kerbal Space Program is also the right thing to do, go ahead, but... Kerbal has not been affected as of yet. I think the only way you wouldn't be able to see this coming is if you don't have eyes. I think that's about it. I think that's about all I can say on the matter. I am very, very angry about this. But if you have anything else you would like to share, then please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I don't have any game releases because, again, I don't have a script. But if you're looking for today's joke, take two interactive.